Well, hey folks, Species7 here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. So, those of you that uh, are doing expeditions, or thinking about doing the expeditions, she's almost done, eh? Yeah, the 16th, which is an appropriate date, uh, is the end of the expedition. Well, Expedition 1, um, the Pioneer's Expedition. We're hoping, of course, that this will quickly be followed up by Expedition 2. And, uh, it ends on the 16th, which is, of course, uh, appropriate. As, uh, 16 is a rather... Awesome, I need a little bit of that to keep my production at the base going. Um, a rather important number in the, uh, No Man's Sky universe. Not sure why, but I have a feeling when I figure out the whole Atlas thing, we'll know. Oops. Go ahead. There you go. No, you're not one. Darn. I could use some more pure ferrite. There's some. But, uh, I'm wandering around on this strange bluish planet here. Yes. Because it has something rather important and something that was rather difficult to find. In fact, it took me about four hours to find. And, uh, just because of the joy of random number generators. Ooh, wonder what's in this one. Um, I went through 12 maps. Ferrite dust. Yeah, I don't want dust. I need pure... Pure, the pure stuff. There we go. I've also got to be careful because there are hostiles on this planet. But, uh, that thing... was a portal. And now that I've actually found one... Well, this isn't the first one I've found. But, now that I've actually found another one, and like I said, with the amount of hassle it was, uh, yeah. I didn't want to lose track of this one. So I thought, uh, seeing as my log has been bugging me, well, not bugging me, but it does have a thing in there, to expand the base, that I should build a base. And since I wanted to remember where this was, that seemed like a, a twofer, you know? I'd not only get that base quest thing kind of going on. Oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't me. There we go. He should be far enough away to not worry about anymore. Any rocks over here? This <laughs> guy used a lot. But, uh... Well, let's uh, head down. I'll show you guys what I've got. I mean, this isn't something I built board by board like you do in a lot of games. I've simply put up a bunch of prefabs. I'm curious what this is. Oh, <laughs> I'm not that curious. I've just never seen that from the top before. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is a gas pump, gas extractor actually, and there is a C-class gas bubble down there. Not the greatest. Uh, just like ships, they go all the way up to S-class, but it gives me a little bit of oxygen, which I can then mix with. All of the small stones on this planet give us not only uh, dust, but they also give us salt. And uh, you can turn salt into chlorine. And it doesn't take much chlorine to make money. So I've got a little uh, medium-sized refinery going. See, here's the portal. Yes. And here's my base. But I've got a medium-sized refinery going, and that's all I'm doing, basically, is cooking up chlorine. So every time I go up to the station, 
You know, I can go, ah, uh, yeah, could I have three or four or five million dollars? Thanks. So, here we go. This is kind of the, the start bit. Got a construction research unit, just because that was part of the mission. There's nothing in it that I haven't really researched that I want to. Um, a medium refiner, where, uh, as you can see, I'm out of oxygen. So, that's why I went and got this. Oh. There it is, a thousand oxygen. Boom. And begin. There, we'll add this to our inventory. And we should have a few million. Got a couple of planters in here. This one's growing the Gravitino balls, which, I mean, hey, that's handy, worth good money. And this one is growing me those venom sack things, which is also worth good money. So yeah, a couple little money-making plants there. Put in a save beacon, so if anybody shows up and they want to save their progress, there you go. And I believe these also show up from space. Um, a teleporter, in case I don't want to have to walk back to the base. Yeah. And then back here, this is my little geck buddy. Hey man, Merchant Ake. So he, he wants me to go get somebody to man the science terminal, so he's probably not going to talk to me right now. Except to tell me that I should get on with it. And then I haven't yet built into this room. I think this is going to be some more farmage in here. And I've just put this room in. So yeah, he's a coming along. The only problem is, this particular planet, I couldn't find a good power source for it. So I am using solar, which, I mean, that's fine during the day. <laughs> right. At night, nah, not so much. Alright, so in fact, what I'd like to do here, in case we're not sure how this goes, so you go to tech, and then we're going to want to go to... Power and industry, and we want power, and we want solar panels. Excellent. So, throw another one. Oh, I don't have any metal plating. Shame on me. Shame on me. Let's uh, go here. And let's just make us 10 metal plating, shall we? Excellent. Now we'll go back down here. We'll go to tech. We'll go to power. We'll go to power. We'll go to solar panel. And we'll drop another one. Two. Three. Excellent. Now, let's go to power. Let's go to wires. And let's hook this one to this one. Let's hook this one to this one. This one to this one. Okay. That line there, that's going out to power that gas pump thing. So and then I've got a bunch of batteries just to get us power here. Let me get rid of these. Ooh. Okay, here we are. So, power storage. I believe um, we've got about 44,000 or something currently. And I will be adding more bits and bobs as we go along here. This is just sort of a connector to uh, jack the station into the power supply as well. Alright. But our next sort of basey mission... This is my ship. It's called the Spear of Dreams. I call it... Ooh, pointy. 
But it's nice, it's an incredibly maneuverable, and it's also much... ...much stronger and a more capable ship than the, uh, the Bugged, the other little exotic I was flying. And as you can see here, it's got an amazing hyperdrive range, <laughs> over 2,000 light years, right? Shield strength is good. So, I mean, all around, it's a pretty nice ship. Could still use some more upgrading, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'm happy for the moment. So that little test tube looking, uh, I'm sorry, it's not a test tube, of course, it's uh, a flask. But that flask is going to be the space station. Oh, unless this dude is off-world. No. Where are we here? I don't know why I follow the compass thing. There it is. Of course it is. The space station. Eleven hours. Oh, wow. This freighter's popping in and out, in and out, in and out. It's almost more annoying than anything. So we need to hire or actually recruit, because you don't seem to really pay them anything. Um, but we need to recruit a scientist, apparently. Yeah, this has got good space, or speed, I should say, both uh, in space and atmosphere. So I'm quite happy with it. I have uh, three S-Class exotics. I have the little uh, Guppy class, which is basically this thing, but stripped down so that all you get is the bubble. <laughs> so it's not near as fast, it doesn't have these extra side thrusters, which have an animation, they go level with the ship when it's in flight, and you know, let's have a C-Class, C-Class, that's it on the first round, okay. Well, let's go see about this explorer fella, or uh, science fella. Hey, uh, you wouldn't be over here. Why would you be over here? You'd be on the other side, wouldn't you? Whoa, that's a good way to get your head shaved. Uh, B class. He's just standing over there, I see. I thought it was somebody that was, uh, and what are you? Yeah. <laughs> I thought he'd be in that room. Where the One Trade Center is, because they all hang out there, and that, in fact, is where I got the, uh, the first guy. But here he is. This is a science officer here. It's a traveler. Hey, man. Pure Entity Neck. Dude, I got a job for you. I passed my test. I'm free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Yes, I do, actually. Now, it just happens that I have that in place. Think not a payment. Scanning you while you sleep will be rewarded. What? You creepy... M oh, you're lucky this is YouTube, or I'd have a thing or two to say about you, man. Alright, now I'm supposed to go back to my base, but first... Uh... Yeah, let's see if we can... Dude, there's seriously something wrong with your head. Um... Let's see if we can't make a little money here. Now, I'm gonna... So, first of all, do you have any oxygen? You must have. You have lots of chlorine. Or no, I'm sorry, I'm on cell. That's what I want to sell. So I've got six million dollars worth of chlorine. 
Thank you very much. Now that we've pretty much broken you, let's uh let's buy all your oxygen. Excellent. Science fellow will have some course to do. Okay, how are we doing here? Uh, yeah, we'll make some tritium. Excellent! Let's get the heck out of here. Launch me. And we are homeward bound. Yeah, trying to steer when you've got the really fast speed on is a bit trippy. Well, I wonder if star bombs are worth anything. They've got them everywhere down there. Just everywhere. Well, I gotta be honest with you, I haven't explored that much of the planet. But, other than the high sentinel activity, which can come in handy, um, it seems to have pretty much everything I need, and I don't have to wear shields of any kind all the time either. Yeah, I don't, uh, <laughs> I guess you're supposed to have a door there. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Alright, how are we doing here? You guys sucking up power? There we are, 45,000. So I guess currently that's our max, eh? Hmm. I can store 45,000. Now it looks like I could put down more batteries because uh, we're obviously producing more than enough with these things. Hmm. All right, let's go see our new science buddy. There we are. Hey, well, dude. How are you doing? Fine base traveler. Glad you like it. Yeah, alright. So we've got a Gek and a Corvax working side by side. Nice. Welcome. man. Blueprints. Lubricant. Mordite and fungal mold. I can grow both of those plants. Nice. 
Harvest Merrill Bulb and Corvax. I have microprocessor. Ooh. Also clean window. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Sure, man. Whatever you need, buddy. Our home will be light and our windows will be clean. He really, uh... Yeah. He really jumps right in there, don't he? Alright. So he wants marrow bulbs and cobalt. Now, I'm pretty sure I have more than enough cobalt to happy, happy, choy, choy guys. So... There's almost always Meryl bulbs to... Yeah, speaking of which, eh? Yes, I want that Meryl bulb. Quit scanning it, you freak. Go away. Man. Okay, have I... Uh... I have, alright. Is he gone? Hmm, <laughs> I didn't do anything. What's your problem, dude? <laughs> what a dweeb. Whoop. <laughs> you didn't hear that, did you? Alright. Bugger. We'll hide under here. See, I'm not doing anything. Go away. Don't shake your... Oh, that was your butt. Well, even worse, don't shake that at me. Anything else in here I haven't scanned? Why does he want to hang around in here? Just making my world a pain. Hmm, I don't see another cave convenient. We need to break another marrow ball one way or the other. Because we got almost, we got almost enough. We got like half of about one far Ooh, there's one on the side here. Wasn't me. Do we have enough? Twenty seven of thirty. Rats. One more. So I don't mind taking sentinels out, but this close to the base, I don't want them all coming here and going, Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> Look at him looking everywhere. You're a pain in the butt ski, bud. doing anything then. See? It's all cool. It's all cool. See you later. My little boy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's, it's cool. You go back down there and smell the flowers. Oh, boy. Yeah, something's happening over there.
<laughs> hey man, you got your stuff. Hi there. What? Here, man. Don't panic. Well, here's your cobalt. They have... My people have abandoned me. What? Really? Large refiner. I think I already knew how to make that, but cool. Huh. And microprocessors, but yeah, I did know how to make those. Go to this transmission tower, enter my soul, discover what's wrong. Sure. Okay. Oh, dude. Okay, they gave us some coordinates to go to. To the Batmobile. Search with our uh, scanner. Okay. Whatever. I mean, this is a nice place. I said I just gotta watch out for. Uh, there is some attack critters here. They just go after everything, man. All right. Which way? What? Right back the way I came. Okay. This way. Oh, it's only 300 something. Okay. That uh, well, we can do that, I suppose. Uh, yeah, carbon will do. But that's not actually what I want. Uh, that's the one. Okay. Basically back exactly the way we came. That's it down there, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, there's a shocker. Okay. Yeah. Let's fire 
turn this in here. Processor, the thing he just taught us to make, even though we already knew how. Okie dokie. That's all right. What'd you get? Okay. Hey, man. Terminal online. Prepare to insert the intelligence core. The judgment of convergence awaits. Well, I hope it's okay. Like, I hope giving this guy a job didn't screw him over with his own people. That would suck. Established. Okay. Error. What? Diagnostic. Science unit corrupted by traveler interaction. Personality. Anomaly involvement detected. What? What? <laughs> okay. That's kind of weird. Yeah, you bet return to the scientist. Dude, do you know what's going on here, man? One of your own people got, like, shut down. Oh, you need help? Okay, so... Well, I hope that helped you out a little bit, dude. Apparently it wasn't exactly what you wanted, but, you know. I try. Oh, you leaving now? I don't blame you. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, this is getting all weird, isn't it? Alright, let's quickly go over here. Because there'll be a, whatchamacallit, broken machine. There's always one between these two buildings somewhere. Because you never know what it'll give us. Might just be some nanites, and it is. 30 of them. You, you're one... No, maybe you're not. I thought you might be one of them mean suckers. You're far enough out of range, you wouldn't bother me. You. Still. What do we got? Three nanites. Ooh, ooh. 47. Check our stocks. That'll be a little bit of money. Nothing big. I mean, $1,200. chair a spin and uh, yeah we're out okay nav down uh, no ear a plant if there's a little animal in there then scan it you'll get a uh, nice bed wow um although those yeah um You'll get a boost in reputation, I think, with the Korvac. I think. Yeah. All right, well. We did a good job. Where's my, uh, flying thing? Oh, right. Other side of the hill, dude. Yes. Ooh, did I get you? I don't think I have.
Huh, humming sack. Alright, let's uh Pointy. Oh, there we are. Ooh, look. A little bonus, huh? What did we get? Warning. Such a hurry to get there, I forgot where I was going. It's called an overseer. He kind of directs the entire department back here, I guess. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Okay, how did you manage to move? You were shut off. You don't look at me like that. Obviously, you turned them. Yeah, I'd look at my feet, too. I tell you, you gotta wonder about these gecks, man. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, it's gonna take an hour and 29 minutes for him to reboot? Hmm. Consult the log to select another task. <laughs> yeah, I guess, eh? Hmm. Okay. Well, I think what I want to do is... I'm gonna have some more work to do on my base. Like, I want to put in some of these nutrient thingies. Um, tech. Uh, general, I believe. Mm -hmm. What's that? Base salvage. Oh, weird. Oh, galactic trade terminal. We could have one of those. That's cool. Then we could sell our stuff right here, right? Eh? Alright, I like that. Our health base. Well, we don't really need that here. Don't want the refiner. Antimatter reactor. That was one of the things I was considering. Wow, it's a little bigger than I thought. 
Oh, I need storm crystals and antimatter. Okay. And what I'm actually looking for here. Hmm, I must be in the wrong one. Oh, I'm not importable anymore. No wonder. There we are. Nutrient refiner is what I wanted. So. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, a hermetic seal. Oops. That's not a problem for sure. There we go. Now we can go there and we should have what we need. All right. So you can put a bunch of stuff in. I think at the moment about all I can put in is maybe this. That's going to give me... Oh. Processed meat. Mmm. What else could we put in there, you think? Creature pellets? Sure. Nope. <laughs> Apparently not. I thought it would be like food, you know. A little carbon? No. I don't know. I don't know what goes into this. I think this is the only foodie thing I have at the moment. So, we'll leave it in there and we'll process it up some other time. But there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. A little bit of look at some... Uh, well, base stuff. Now, what I think I might do next time, I guess I should pick these and they'll grow again, won't they? Yes, they will. Nice. Sack Venom. Like I said, both of those are actually reasonably good money, eh? 60,000 a pop. And of course, Gravitino Balls, 40,000 a pop. Without having the Sentinels coming after you, but... Oxygen in there. Ooh, some geodes. Nice. Technology recharge. Okay. Yeah, I think these I'll just. Uh... Oh. Can't I just break the? Oh, I've got stuff in here. Yay! There we are. Now I should be able to break them down. Nettles. Into sodium. Oh, okay. Nice. Alright. Metal plating, we have use for that. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to hit that uh, like button. It helps a bunch. Till next time, though, take care of each other, and ciao for now. I'm just gonna save.